Hi class, in this video we're going to go over how to do the five basic procedures in chapter four. The example we're looking at involves study hours and exam scores. Ten randomly selected students were asked how many hours they studied for an exam. The students scores on the exams were also recorded. Here are the data. The first student studied for seven hours and got a score of 70, while the second studied for eight hours and got a score of 76. Here's a list of the five things that you could be asked to do in chapter four. Make a scatter plot, find the correlation coefficient r, determine whether a linear relation exists between two variables, find the linear regression equation, and use it to predict a value of y, the dependent variable, for a value of x, the independent variable. I'm going to show you how to do these five things all in one place in StatCrunch. Let's get started. Okay, I've already typed the data in StatCrunch, and to create the scatter plot, to compute the correlation coefficient, to determine if a linear relation exists, to come up with the regression equation, and to make a prediction for 11 hours, I can do that all in one spot by clicking Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. For the x variable, select the independent variable, which here is ours and the y variable is the dependent variable, score. Scroll down in this window and where it says prediction of y, we wanted to predict a score for 11 hours of study, so type 11 for the x value and press compute. Okay, here are the results. First, to see the scatter plot, click the right arrow to move to the second of the two screens, and there's the scatter plot. Ignore the line that's drawn there for the scatter plot that line is the regression line. Go back to screen one. The value for R, the correlation coefficient, is here. It's the sixth line from the top. And we can see that R is 0.969 in this case. Next, to determine if a linear relation exists, rather than looking at the table of critical values, we really only need to look here in that second table underneath where it says p-value. If this value is below 0.05, that is strong evidence that a relation exists between the two variables, score and hours. The regression equation is in the same screen on the fourth line. It says that score is roughly equal to 45.1 plus 3.5 times the number of hours. Finally, the prediction for 11 hours of study, if I scroll down, to the table that says predicted values. For an x value of 11, the predicted y value is 83.3. So again, there are the five things all in one place. The scatter plot on screen two, the correlation coefficient, the p-value tells us that a linear relation exists when it's below 0.05, the regression equation, and the predicted value using the equation.